Hi everybody, today I am going to be meal planning for the month of November 2019 in my Erin Condren planner and let me give you some context about my meal plans. I meal plan for a month in advance and then I just make adjustments as the month goes on. I have two kids, they're both teenagers, one's almost 16, the other one is 13. The 13 year old's a boy and he eats everything in sight, but I share custody of them so I have them every other week. I also have kidney disease and I'm picky. I have polycystic kidney disease and my my kidney function is declining at a rapid rate and I am approaching kidney failure, which means that I need to start thinking about adapting my diet. And even though I don't need to at this moment, I'm trying to expand my palate when it comes to fruits and vegetables that will be compliant to a renal diet. Most of the ones I love, like broccoli and peaches, I'm not supposed to have once I go full blown onto the renal diet. So I've been trying to get better at eating other vegetables. And this month's vegetable is green beans. So I have a whole Pinterest board of green bean recipes I'm taking a look at, as well as other vegetables I've looked at in the past. So I have to fit those in every week as well. And I'm gonna take this washi tape. It's just like pink raindrops because I, I, I don't know, I like it and it's November. And I'm gonna use this to put my custody in here. And then I am going to put in my meals that I've been using post-it notes and they've been annoying the shit out of me. And so this month I decided I will finally use pencil, but I'm gonna use these neon pencils that I got from the Tombow VIP box recently. They're the Erogen, Erogen, Oh fuck, I butchered that. I'll erase them if I have to change things around. But in the meantime, I am going to put in custody for the week, for the month, for the year, whatever you wanna say. Now, while I'm putting this in, I should mention that there's a couple of things that I should mention actually. One is that because it is Thanksgiving this month and the way my custody schedule works out, one parent has the kids for two weeks in a row during Thanksgiving and one kid, one parent has the kids for two weeks in a row during winter break. Our winter break is three weeks long and so doing this two weeks in a row means that both families have the chance to take a vacation during winter break when it's their year with the kids. Um, the other thing I'm going to mention is that my family's Thanksgiving is generally on a different day. We call it th fake Thanksgiving. So we will be celebrating it on a different day and that's going to be reflected in the meal plan. And then also my October meal plan, um, I have barely stuck to it. I've made a lot of the meals, but just not in the same order. And I think maybe it was the fault of me recording it way early in the month, like in the first part of like the first week or two of September, because I had so much traveling to do that month. And I think I just didn't realize how much of a mess October was going to be and it just wasn't very effective. So the lesson I'm taking from that is it's a lot more effective for me to plan out the meals for a month the week before the month starts and that's where I'm at right now. So that's what we're going to go with. Now the first thing I'm going to do is go through and put in all of the nights I know we're not going to be eating at home. The ones I know about right now at least. This one is the big game here in town. Are those going to show up? Ah, uh, make a mess. I don't know, maybe the yellow is not a good one to use. That's not bright enough. Let's try the red. Now it's orange because it's on top of the yellow. Out. We'll see if I like this at all. So that is big game. And I'm not, that's the game where um, the two local high schools play each other. So we'll be at the, uh, the football field for that night. My kid has a fall concert on the 21st for band. So that's another out. God damn it, these are soft. Okay, so that's another out, it's for the concert. And I'm just looking at my calendar to see if there's any other nights we're gonna be out. The holiday parade will be another night we're out because it's a nighttime parade and my kid's gonna be in it. So that's another, that's another out. I haven't scheduled a date night with Jesse yet though, so we don't know about that yet. And then the other thing that is big to point out on here is that this is fake Thanksgiving is on the 10th. That's gonna be fake Thanksgiving food, which means that on Saturday, it'll be some kind of like pizza or Chinese food because we'll be cooking. And I'll put in a date night as well once I have figured that out. And I have no idea if you guys can actually see anything I'm I'm writing right now with these pens. We'll try the blue, we'll see if the blue is darker. Okay, so now that we have all the out nights, the next thing I wanna do is put in our Taco Tuesdays. Oh, fall back, well that's not a bad one. That's not a bad one. Tuesday, everybody should be going home at that point. Tuesday the 12th, my grandma's staying with us, but she'll be gone that evening. So we'll probably actually, we'll probably be going out again on Monday night because my grandma will be with us and it'll be easier to just go out. I'm just gonna assume we're gonna go out again with grandma that weekend. But then this day, so we'll do chicken tacos because my kids love chicken tacos. And we'll do regular ground beef tacos on 
Thanksgiving break and my cats are making so much noise in the background. That's just gonna be how my videos are from now on, I'm thinking, my dudes. It's just gonna be how they are. The 19th I know is gonna be a rough week for my husband. The second half of November is a really busy work week for like time for him. So we'll just do taco truck, which is also out, but I consider that different because we just kind of walk over there. <laughs> Didn't have to get in the car. And then the final tacos, I'm just gonna put tacos and I'll figure out what the fuck kind of tacos I feel like making. It may just be more ground beef tacos, I don't even know. Okay, so tacos are in. I'm gonna take my greens so we can put some green beans in here. Now these are just gonna be green beans along with other food because none of these are like, there's one, there's a green bean chicken skillet that sounds yummy, but it has mushrooms. I wonder, you can swap the mushrooms for something out. Any of you guys in the comments can let me know. For a chicken skillet that's made with like heavy cream and lemon and pepper and green beans and chicken and Parmesan cheese and then it's and garlic and then it's supposed to have mushrooms. If anybody can think of a good substitute for the mushrooms, will you let me know? Because my husband and I, neither of us do mushrooms, but that sounds so good and so warm and like hearty. And how long is it supposed to take? It's supposed to take, where's the time? Where's the time on here? It's not telling me the time. <laughs> Apparently this is a really quick one. So that would be a good like Monday recipe, I think. Actually, let's try that on fall back. No, we'll do that on Monday. We'll do the chicken and green bean skillet. Oh, I can't read that either. Orange? No, I can't read that. Okay, these neon pens are not working. I'm just gonna have, or pencils. I'm just gonna go with an actual pencil, is what I'm gonna do. Where the hell is my actual pencil? I'm having trouble. I'm having a rough. This is actually the pencil that came with that Tombow box as well. Chicken and green bean skillet. Okay, that's the fourth. And then the following week, what do we need for green beans? We have the kids, so I need to pick something that the kids are gonna like. Yum, 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 yum. What do, we, what do we want? What do we want? Ooh, cheesy garlic green beans. Num, num, num. Cheesy garlic green beans could be on... How long do those take to make? <laughs> you guys, this is what I go through when I'm meal planning. It's like, how long does something take to make? Will my kids eat it? Will I eat it? Okay, okay. Guys, that's enough. <sighs> my cats. My cats. Cheesy garlic green beans take 25 minutes, to uh, 30 minutes total to make. You know, I do a lemon chicken in the oven with like white wine. And I bet these cheesy garlic green beans would be really yummy with that. So we'll do lemon chicken and cheesy green beans. And we will do that on Thursday. And we're gonna do leftovers on the 13th, if they're still good. If not, we'll figure something else out. On the 8th, we're gonna do spaghetti because that will be something, no matter how many people are staying with us at that point, I can do spaghetti for about a billion people. So I think Thursday night, my husband and I should have a date night, whether we go out or do something at home because we're gonna be doing that before the family hits. So date night will be fun for that one. For the following week, another green bean recipe. My husband loves green beans. He's gonna be happy with this month. Maybe on this Sunday here, I will do shrimp and garlic butter green beans, because that sounds good. And I always like making shrimp when the kids are with their dads because they love shrimp and there's never enough for all of us. I have to make so much shrimp to feed all the kids. I like doing it. And then my kid, both kids are both like, fuck you, why are you making shrimp when why are you making shrimp when we're at dad's house? And then the last week of green beans, we'll do a London broil and this roasted carrots, potatoes, and green beans recipe. So there's all my green beans. So this is kind of how I do my meal planning. I fill in the things that are like known quantities. So the nights will be out, the fake Thanksgiving, Taco Tuesdays, and once a week doing a new green bean recipe. So now that all that's filled in, we don't have very, I don't have very much left to fill out otherwise. And that's, the beauty of doing it this way. So we will do turkey on the day of Thanksgiving. It'll just be the four of us, but I like to make us a turkey because I like the leftovers, which will be the next night's dinner. <laughs> so that takes care of that. And uh, I wanna get some comfort food in because the weather hopefully won't be as hot anymore. And so I think on the 23rd, maybe what we will do is a crock pot like pot roast. And then maybe on this day, we'll do the crock pot chicken and gravy. And then maybe during this week, we'll do beef stew. And then Monday, to, since this is a lot of beef going on here, we'll do cream cheese taquitos, since that's a favorite in this house. And that's got the week that the kids are off from school filled in, which is good. And then I'll bust out creamy shells and beef, because Jess and I can eat that on the 20th, and that'll fill that week up. So we just need something for this day. RJ told me he was sad when he came home and we had pizza, because he wanted some mom meals. So what mom meals should I make that the kids 
we'll be down with. Ooh, we could do the cauliflower gnocchi. I haven't done that in a while. With sausage. And then I think I'm gonna have to be doing out on this night because I think I'm driving my kid to a retreat even though they're at their dad's house. I think I have to drive my kid to a retreat that night. And we haven't done steaks with my husband and I. That's something we like to do on the weekends a lot when the kids aren't around. Speaking of the kids not being around, we'll do a shrimp gar the shrimp and asparagus skillet. Again, like I said about shrimp, even though my kids love shrimp, I'm gonna have to fit it in at some point. And then I'll just do grilled cheese and soup because that's a simple one. So definitely pulling the comfort foods out for November, definitely. If the weather gets hot, I may wind up saying like, fuck it and going back to like some of our other stuff. But for now, this is my meal plan for November and it's in pencil so I can move things around. Laura said color pencils, definitely a fail for this, even though I'm sure they'd be great for other purposes. Hopefully because I'm doing this so close to the end of the month, as opposed to early in the month, I will be much better this month. When I get to December, I'm gonna have to go back because it'll be six months of meal planning monthly and we'll see how that's going. But I'm liking this because it at least gives me a basis and I don't have to think about it. All I do is sit down with my planner during on Thursdays and take a look at it, see if it's gonna work and move things around, if, it's, if other things have come up, like other evening plans, and then make my grocery list. And it's so much less of a pain in the ass. It's a little bit more annoying to do it now than it is to do it every week, but it saves me time on the week. So that's why I would recommend it if you think it's something that would work for you. But I will say it's not perfect and anybody who tells you monthly meal planning is the best solution is full of shit because they don't know your life. I'd love to hear from you in the comments below about your favorite comfort foods now that at least here in the US we're starting to head into comfort food season. Let me know in the comments below. My favorite is mashed potatoes and gravy in any meal, any meal. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video.